June 5th for uh, authorization of the strike. Again, uh, this online. So, uh, I'm for authorizing a strike so that way we union members have a voice in um, Hollywood. Um, but I'm here currently in Stanislaus County, Stanley Jack, working on my own uh, projects. The strike is for the AMTP Association of Motion Picture and Television Producers. These are like the corporate America uh, manufacturers of content like Disney, Universal, Paramount. These are the um, these are the giant corporations. While I'm an independent film in San Luis County, I'm a union actor background, but I'm also an independent filmmaker, and I'm just trying to tell my story, a storyteller. And um, I often work on my research and make notes on my little notebook, 99 cents notebook from a 99 cent store. Just buy a little notebook and just make your notes on your idea. Usually it's an engineering idea, but so what I do is I, because uh, I'm, I'm not that of a great artist, but I do a toothpick, toothpick, uh, toothpick artwork on the characters. I mean, I can draw a little bit, but not as, as great. But I illustrate my concept, my ideas in a uh, still a photography point of view. Um, a collage of the story whether it be a short film music video or a full feature uh, an hour an hour to two hours all right so last time I, I uh, shared it on my Instagram the uh, Garden of Eden Garden of Eden the clue is the character Ba in the Bai Bayin ancient uh, writing systems of uh, Ophir, formerly known as, uh, currently known as the Philippines. Just like Burma, they call it now Myanmar. Apparently, that might be some uh, productive. Um, but what I do is uh, prep up my character. Um, But in the meantime, preparing. All right, so uh, at, at six o'clock, I mean eight o'clock Pacific Standard Time, we're gonna be in character as uh, Professor Benjamin Washington. And I did some little research late last night and the night before. Now, the character Benjamin Washington is a political guy. Um, I like me, Santa Jack, I'm a, you know, cowboy, bull rider type storyteller. You know, the uh, Paniolos or the uh, cowboys or the, uh, the, uh, West Big Valley, the Big Valley, you know, like the Ponderosa and the um, Big Valley of the Barclays here in San Luis County, yeah. So uh, at 8, 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, uh, we're going to start, I'm going to put on my costume. But um, yeah, so uh, today I've decided to put three on Instagram and one on Facebook Live. So this one right here, this camera right here, is Facebook Live. This is Instagram Live. Instagram Live. Instagram Live. I'm debating whether to go Facebook Live on two and Facebook Live, Instagram Live on the other two. 
I think I'm going to swap this one to make it Facebook Live. Yeah. So uh, what I'll do is I'll stop this one. Camera number one. I'll just change camera number one to... Uh, We're going to go on Facebook Live for those that are uh, on Facebook. We're going to go to Stanley Jack Kowalski. And we're going to go Facebook Live on that one. So we'll have a backup of the Instagram and backup on the uh, Facebook Live. Facebook. Yeah. All right. So let me uh, put that on. And. Do it this way. This way, so I'll have two, Insta two Facebook Live. Yeah, I have Facebook Live number one on camera one. Facebook Live on number two, camera two. Instagram Live on camera number three, and Instagram Live on camera number four. All right, I think that'll work. So at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, we're gonna start the uh, Friday Red show. Again, this is copyrighted 2023 E.CLI Rats Reserve. And give me a few minutes. I put on my costume. Uh, I tuned my guitar already. I'm using the still a work in progress acoustic guitar. Putting some pickups, Fender pickups, to make it my own, um, my own unique acoustic electric. So uh, stand by, stand by. I'm gonna put on my costume as Professor Benjamin Washington. Again, this is Stanley Jack Kowalski. Hoping uh, you guys will enjoy this show. So hello, this is Stanislaus from this camera. Stanley on this camera. This is Camaro Ophir on this camera. Malo Malo on this camera. Instagram and this is email on Instagram. So I have four cameras, two for Facebook Live and two for Instagram. So stand by. Let me put on my uh, put on my Professor Benjamin Washington character. All right, stand by. Yeah, so as I transform as Professor Benjamin Washington, I am hoping uh, people that follow my uh, my post and what, what I've been trying to share is, you know, I've been posting two female candidates, one Republican and one, one Republican and one Democrat. Marianne Williamson is the Democrat candidate, female candidate. I think she's the only female candidate. And then on the, the Republican is Nikki Haley, and she's also the only candidate for the re Republican female candidate. <clears throat> I think, you know, we got to give it you know the 19th amendment you got to show your strength to the females especially this month lgbt and father's month and of course this month is when my father went to heaven june 24th immigrated to uh according to the ethiopian ethiopic bible the book of enoch the Garden of Eden or a bin that Abel brother of Cain is uh, checking everybody out checking everybody's spirit and souls and the D DNA information of that soul or spirit so 
the afterlife, your data is examined by by Abel. I mean Cain. No, no, by by Abel. Because if you have any remnants of Cain in you, then you won't be allowed to go into the uh, Garden of Eden. So as a politician, I look at how our United States of America, the Constitution, U.S. Constitution, how it's supposed to be pervasive to all people, even, you know, from, from kids to every citizen from kindergarten, K to 12, it should be pervasive, the U.S. Constitution. But unfortunately, it's, it's not. I mean, the Star Spangled Banner is pervasive, but it doesn't have the U.S. Constitution. So, K-12 to is really, I'm not targeting, but I'm targeting politicians and people that vote to vote in the requirement of kids K-12 to knowing the uh, USA Constitution and the Bill of Rights. So, we got about two minutes to... Uh, to begin the character Professor Benjamin Washington. My name is Stanley Jack. Putting my glasses. I am now in character as Professor Benjamin Washington. I put my tie on. We uh, union actors that are not yet celebrities our only hope is to have uh, influential influence influencing mo um, viewers that can help our uh, uh, subscribers and our Facebook friends to help it me go uh, help it make make it go viral at least influence people and what I'm doing now now till uh, now until um, November 2024, it's to encourage voters to uh, vote for the female candidates, whether uh, Republican female candidate Nikki Haley. She's a lot. She's competing a lot of uh, men. There are three colored guys in the Republican Party: an Indian American, uh, an Indian American. Uh, two black Americans named well, Tom Scott or whatever but three three men of color and the rest are all white men and then of course one female Nikki Haley on the Republican Party all right so we begin again this is uh, Gotta enter the um, secret garden of Eden. Copyright twenty twenty three. Eli. Serve Friday Reds every Friday 8, 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. This is Be done on earth 
as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us, deliver us from evil. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now forever. Amen. See, so that's the access login when we entered the spirit east gate of the Garden of Eden. Right? The secret garden of Eden. We say the Lord's Prayer and we're at the gate. We're interacting with the cherubs and the flaming swords. And then they request have you updated the Star Spangled Banner into the Star Spangled Preamble? So you have to know it. Have you been practicing your U.S. Constitution Bill of Rights? Do you know your Bill of Rights? They're available at constitutionus.com. One word, constitutionus.com. And you'll see the 27th Amendment. The 28th should incorporate the way for the United States government and its people to be able to have their souls and spirit enter in the Garden of Eden. All right, so the cherubs, the uh, flaming sword, and the spirit of Abel, brother, the brother of Cain, as in the biblical story of Cain and Abel, that if he detects any spiritual DNA capture of Cain you will be rejected because the only way to go through the gate East Gate is through Yahusha Jesus walk the way of uh, a lover and no Cain no Cain at all in your spirit DNA. All right, so let's do the uh, Constitution US, the Star Spangled Preamble. And we're gonna acapella it. We're gonna say, we the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, Promote the general welfare, secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity. Do ordain and establish this constitution for the United States of America. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars? Through the perilous fights, or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof to the night that our flag was still there. We'll say that st star spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the home of the brave. <laughs> Sing that. We the people of the United States in order to form a more perfect union establish justice ensure domestic tranquility provide for the common defense Promote the general welfare, secure the blessings of liberty, 
to ourselves and our posterity. Do ordain and establish this constitution for the United States of America. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose bright stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we won were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the home of the brave yeah hello hello yeah welcome to friday reds this is professor benjamin <laughs> washington <laughs> Ooh, yeah so last week we thought about we talked about the uh or i shared about the circle or the sphere or the enclosed garden of eden it's inside the earth and its location it's the number one holiest of holiest place and it's located underneath the philippines which was formerly called Ophir, but the ancient Hebrews, the Greeks call it Christ, C H Y R I C. <coughs> and some of the Greeks call it um, Tarshir or Tar, Tarshir, Tarshish. So I, I, I showed the uh, symbol of the ancient writing system of the Philippines, which is the circle right here. Ba, the character Ba, as in the alphabets Abacada E, so just the Ba. This is the Ba. I did a little search on the uh, Japanese characters, and it's Enso. Enso. It's a circle with a little opening. Uh, and then it's also the Euclid geometry, Euclid, Euclid geometry, where you have a little bubble, but it's on the outside. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, weather's been changing. And so, uh, so last Saturday, that's what I did. So Sunday, last Sunday, kind of like, uh, Went to a little bit of my other hangouts. My siblings were here to keep an eye on my mom. Then brought my mom back. And then Monday, I illustrated some stuff. But I did some more research. And uh, I wanted to work on the U.S. Constitution or the Constitution of the United States. And also the Declaration of Independence. And also the Founding uh, fathers and let me just talk about that because I usually talk about the past the present and the future and so in my research and in my research in, in YouTube uh, there is a uh, is it parable there is a YouTube channel called parable and they they talk about the Freemasons for those of you that are Freemasons out there hey what's up but they showed Thomas Paine and Benjamin Franklin, who are members of the Freemasons in Europe, as well as the establishers of Freemasons in the early 13 colonies. And so they were doing all this background check on all the, you know, Thomas Jefferson, John Adams, all the founding fathers of the U.S. Uh, government, that they pretty much are, I, I are either crypto, 
Jews or crypto Moors or non non Christians, but more crypto uh, or or Cathars, because what was happening in Europe or was the uh, the impact of the Pope and and uh, and the Inquisition in Spain. So many many uh, many Europeans wanted to leave that kind of uh, stringent strict rule of the uh, at least in the Spanish the Inquisition the stringent on Inquisition because when Queen Isabella of Castile and King Ferdinand of Aragon they joined kingdoms they got married they became powerful in in I Iberia which became Spain Iberia was once a kingdom of Granada uh, Muslims uh, Islam and Spain had a lot of Moors but eventually the Castiles and the uh, Aragons they joined forces and but Europe was very much controlled by the descendants of the Roman Empire and what the Rome what Emperor uh, Constantine established that end the paganism in Europe and just focus on being Christians based on the stories of one Jew and 12 disciples of Jews which was uh, who said Jesus and Constantine he removed all the problems with Christians in Rome and became Christians and the whole nation the old Roman Empire became a Christian nation and established the uh, Catholic Church and that's the same thing with Spain they enforced the Catholic Church so by the 1300s you know another thousand years Spain the Iberia became very uh, an enforcement of Inquisition and 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 was a way to uh, enslave and, and capture any of the non-conformant to their standards by these Inquisition uh, investigators. So that's why uh, a lot of the Americans or the early Europeans that came to the U.S. when it was just 13 colonies, a lot of them were crypto Jew, crypto Moors, uh, other non-faith away at leaving um, Europe as well as uh, this, the criminals of England and stuff, 13 colonies. But the United States, by the late 1600s, 70, early 1700s, Benjamin Franklin and uh, Thomas Paine, Thomas Paine was an English fellow who, who was an author uh, a writer like myself he um, wrote a book called Common Sense Common Sense and pretty much they've done a background check on, on them after you know the US Civil uh, 1776 incident which is the birth date of the United States of America, July 4th, 1776, although the U.S. really established and obtained its independence in 1976. That 1976, it was more for we the people, people of color, especially in indigenous people, 1976, but 1776, these uh, Freemasons, these white businessmen, and those that rejected the ways of the Roman Empire 
descendants of the Roman Empire, which were the the Reformed Catholic Church that was set up by Constantine in 333 AD. That all the Europeans were all uh, descendants of that Roman Empire, and they all had their own kingdoms, England, you know, Germany, they're all Catholics. But eventually the Reformation in the 1490, uh, Lutherans, they all like questioned the Catholic authority um, because they've been unjust. But because in, in 33 AD, Constantine only allowed 66 books. So people were questioning the modification of the books, the, uh, the books that were incomplete or were modified, the biblical books. So the descendants of the Roman Empire only had 66 books. And the rest of the other books, they, they never uh, accepted them. They called them Apocrypha. But in the Ethiopian book, or the book of Gandhi, you know, the 60s and the six, late, late 60s, Dr. Martin Luther King was a Bible reader and he, he expressed uh, reading the Bible and saw good characters in the New Testament. But the United States of America, the Founding Fathers, the Freemasons, they saw it differently that they were not believing the uh, miracles of Jesus. They didn't believe those miracles. These were the founding fathers. They just believed in human to human, man to man, physical, a carnal state of man. And that's what the U.S. government is. The carnal state of man, although later on, Jesuits and the Catholic faith came in a little later to upgrade the First Amendment. It, there was a became they became a First Amendment, but prior to that, the founding fathers in the Revolution of 1776 and the authors of Declaration of Independence, like Thomas Jefferson, they had the thinking of man, the man's reason, and that these miracles that are on the New Testament were, um, you know, beyond man's comprehension, but they occurred. Because, for example, Paul, St. Paul, or Paul, the uh, Apostle Paul, he, he, he hated uh, Christians. He persecuted Christians, but he became a Christian. So does that mean doesn't mean, I mean, it's a miracle, or it's a form of miracle for transforming a hater of Christians, but still the early uh, Thomas Edison, I mean Thomas Edison, Thomas Jefferson wrote the Declaration of Independence. That is the reason why he, he, he called indigenous people savages. If you read the Declaration of Independence, it called the indigenous people savages but who are they they've only been here in in those from 1600 to 1700 they don't know what occurred in in Atslan or uh, Atlantis or Turtle Island there are mounds there are pyramids Kahukia their ancient you know and today the Mormons the Mormons the Moors the Mormons they know, they talk about the, the copper mines and the Hopewell tribes that build these mound builders and, you know, prior to, so it's in the Book of the Mormon. Read up the Book of the Mormon by John Smith. But that's, that's phase two of Christians in the U.S., but the early Christians in the U.S. were, were like the um, Plymouth Rock, the, the Pilgrims. So every Christian think that America was built on the thinking of 
USA was founded by Christians, but, but in reality, the Freemasons, they have a different God, the Grand Architect. That's what they call them, the Grand Architect. That's the Freemasons. There are Freemasons here in Modesto. There are Freemasons everywhere and throughout the United States. So American freedom is based on the physical freedom of men. But then of course, when the First Amendment came, the freedom of religion came. So other religion, other faith can, can practice their faith based on the First Amendment. So even if Satan lived in the America, which there are satanic uh, religions here there are evil religions here but if they harm other citizens then it's criminal you can practice your faith of good but if it's a practice of faith that's bad then of course you'll be punished by the loss of the government whether it be the local government or the nationwide government so always follow the law of the land that is what scripture says and that's what bible says the law of the land what is caesar's is caesar's right so you pay taxes for caesar that's what you say jesus on new testament but that's the history of the united states that the founding fathers the freemasons thomas jefferson that's why it had flaws because all these white businessmen that founded the the United States were already corrupt. They were already allowing evil, allowing uh, you know the, the liberty to practice the religion. But of course, religion of the Catholic faith, following the New Testaments of good, to be a, a Christian life, you walk the walk. That. It works in the Roman Empire, the, the post-pagan empire, after 330, you know, after Emperor Constantine, Rome became a, a Christian Catholic because of um, St. John, I mean St. Peter. So St. Peter in, in the Catholics is the first known Pope. So that's why the Pope still is a strong entity in the Vatican, but it's also global. Is that what, that's what the Roman Empire wanted to do, was globally have reach, which they do. Um, that's how they practice their I'm Catholic, but I'm more, I understand more of my Eastern, East meets West um, faith, because I knew there, there is the chrono, chronological order from the Garden of Eden, when we enter the Garden of Eden, and then we, we get kicked out, Adam was kicked out, and then man continued to survive until Enoch. Mahalalel, uh, Jared, Enoch, Lamech, yeah, um, these were before Noah, and they populated the earth, but when the fallen angels were tempted in intercourse with earth women. They also disobeyed God and the product of those were demons. You know, their descendants and they still exist, those demons. Although the fallen angels are in, held captives under the earth, according to the book of Enoch, it's Enoch is the first book and Ethiopian Bible has that. They didn't hide that book. So the Ethiopic people, you know, the descendants of Ham and the remote, which is again Austronesians, the 
Pacific uh, Kingdom, the Moon, the Moon Kingdom. And then migrated to Atlantis, which is the Americas. So the people that were already here prior to the Declaration of Independence, you know, the people that were not discovered by Columbus and these uh, immigrants or illegal immigrants from Europe, they started building their empires. I did another research about intertribal slavery amongst Indians of the Turtle Island. Amongst the Turtle Island, there was, you know, their captives, they either live in their village, they either integrate in their village or tribe and become part of the tribe, or they remain as servants because um, they're captives usually they capture uh, children and women, young children and young women and that's how the Indians indigenous people of Turtle Island that's how they interact between intertribal scenarios that's why Turtle Island and how Cortez divided Mexico or Tenochtitlan, because it was easy to divide and conquer. So that's the past. But we have to re reflect back on how the Founding Fathers created the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution. And it had flaws. And today, 2023, we summarize then that until July 4th, 1976, we the people of the United States have truly started to obtain our uh, true Bill of Rights, constitutional rights, and also the proclamation of an, uh, proclamation the June 19th, okay, June 19th, June 10th, the proclamation of independence, the freedom for people of color and in, by 1870 there were voting rights of people of color and then by 1910s the voting rights of women but it took a long time for women to vote that was terrible from the get-go women should have been allowed already but these uh, men the Freemasons or their organizations of businessmen, they just are probably still, that's still probably the, these men, the organizations today. But it's amazing, you got two candidates in the Democratic Party and Republican Party. There's Nikki Haley for the Republican, and there's Marianne Williamson for the Democrat. They're both good for we the people, and whoever. Uh, practices their 19th Amendment and promotes the women's 19th Amendment, you know, the LGBTQT and, you know, the men that, the men that want to transgender to women because men are so jealous, they want to be like women, you know? I mean, we have a Olympic Bruce Jenner that wanted to be a woman. I mean, it's evident that the women the 19th Amendment, they should have powerful uh, capabilities, corporate leaders or, or, you know, USA president. But because there's these Freemasons, men that won't allow women, um, the Puba, I, don't, I, I used to watch uh, uh, Fritz, the Flintstones, where Barney and Fred would go to these uh, lodge meetings. And it all consists of men, organization of men. So how can women, organization of women, win when they, they, the wives of these Freemasons support their husbands? You know, and so how can the these women, that's why the LGBTQ women, um, loving women and, and strengthening women, that empowers the 19th Amendment. And so we will see 2024 if 
LGBTQT women and the 19th Amendment is really exercised by women. Because we need to help the women um, in the United States of America. They've been abused and damaged for a long time. And, and men just totally uh, step all over them. Get them pregnant and leave them. Get another one pregnant. You know, and that's typical men, white and black. I mean, they go to like to third world countries like Mexico and Philippines and they do the same thing. Take advantage of third world country women. Some of them bring bring them back like like military men. Rob Schneider's dad married the Filipina. Rob Schneider, the comedian. Uh, Lou Diamond Phillips, his dad brought a Filipina and made Lou Diamond Phillips. There are many servicemen black and white men that married or took an Asian woman on a third world country or uh, countries that have been in conflict with the United States or have been in service with the military and are basically lonely and, and you know but every man needs needs a woman it's Adam needed to have his rib taken and become Eve. Every man needs a woman. Unless the man just wants lust and didn't want nothing to do with making babies and the difficulty of a, a woman. And so I just saw in the view uh, uh, Duger Heiser and his partner, you know, two guys. So LGBTQT is a, a strength for men as, as well as women. Women loving women and men loving men. You know, the Bible says in the book of Ecclesiastes and Proverbs, it says that let man be man and let woman be woman. You are not a judge, only it's when you enter the Garden of Eden, when you come try to come in that your character and the soul that you carry the spirit of your soul after life when you try to enter the Garden of Eden which is the gate to heaven which is the holiest of holiest holier than Jerusalem holier than any other place on earth that's the Garden of Eden and it's in Christ that's what our Greeks, ancient Greeks call it. They also call it Tarshish, ancient Greek. Uh, the ancient Hebrews, they call it Ophir, Havila, Sheba, right? Genesis 10.25 describes that. The, the brother of Pele and the islands, Pele, God of Pele, is, is well recognized because he is the brother of Yucatan, Yucatan. Central America has an area called Yucatan and he is the brother of Pele. These are the two sons of Eber or Hebrew. This was during the uh, Tower of Babel. All right, so we'll it on to the story because the biblical story is a human story. And it should be the political story. What polluted it was when in the 1850s Bible was was modified. I mean the 1611 Bible was modified in the 1800s. And many athe atheistic minds like Darwin and a lot of these. Sure, they thrive because they're under the Constitution, uh, their point of view, the scientific world. But I always say, look, you know, the scientists that were making cathode ray tube displays for television and, and today's display technology, those are obsolete. So because of the DNA structure and the creation that all are common to life, it's a creator that created these, you know, these things. And it was not evolved. So evolution is wrong, but the design 
sure the design evolves but the creation is a creation and that's the human story and it was captured by the culture of the Hebrews and Jews right so the first book was written by the first five six books you know but they excluded somebody excludes the Pharisees the Sadducees right and these are the Freemasons. The Freemasons are Sadducees, Pharisees, or Babylonian. So the founding fathers of the United States of America are Freemasons. It's proof. It's, it's fact. But the First Amendment came in. That amendment was intervened by God and, and the Jesuits and, and the... Uh, Jews, the, the what you call the crypto Jews and the crypto Moors, they said, well, religion is important. We're all different religion, but you got to allow liberty of religion. Unlike the European who was like ruthless Roman descendants of Constantine, that Spain, England, you know, these were all once the kingdom of the Roman Empire. And they they decided that the Catholic faith with 66 books, and that's what we today as Catholics, I'm a Catholic, that's what we do. We, we pray. But I know as, as a professor Benjamin Washington, I have to look at the politics of today and yesterday. The reason why those liberty men, they totally rejected Europe, England, and, and all the European uh, uh, run by the Catholic and Queen Mary uh, but Queen Elizabeth said no I want to be like my dad Henry VIII so by the time they started migrating to the Americas they were practicing their, their uh, what they knew about the Roman Empire steal take lands you know unfortunately the indigenous people the Indians enslaved each other and they had tribal wars and they're not united until uh, Emiliano Zapata and Pancho Villa, and then Larry Leon and Cesar Chavez. Those are the first two organized uh, in the late 60s and 70s. Cesar Chavez and Larry. Unfortunately, in the late 70s, the Mexicans started acquiring and wanting all the credits and totally neglected the Filipinos. You know, these are Utu Aztec and Indians. They're the slaves of the Mexican Empire. But today, I'm trying to wake up as Professor Benjamin Washington and Stanley Jack. I'm, my next character this month is Emiliano Zapata. Today is Emiliano Zapata. All right. Uh, I think I did my job as Professor Benjamin Washington first. We're going to do another, uh, create another playlist of another character named Emiliano Zapata. Today is Emiliano Zapata. And we'll do other characters. And I know, you know, um, it's Friday Reds, and I do this a, a weekly show. And it's not that I'm running out of ideas. I have many ideas. But I'm doing this because currently I am taking care of my mom, elderly mom, and, and the only way I can express myself aside from going karaoke or having fun at karaoke places oh somebody here hey Pacific invasion what's up Tony what's up so I'm just summarizing um, the United States of America founding fathers the Freemasons they were Freemasons Thomas Jefferson Benjamin Franklin they were proven and their their idea is that the great architecture is their God not the Catholic God of Europe because that has also been modified by the Pharisees and the Sadducees and only allowed 66 books of the Bible but the Ethiopian book it has the book of Enoch and other books the book of Jubilee those two are very important if you don't have knowledge of those two books then your information is corrupt and you'll question it. And that's why the Lutherans in 1490, they questioned it, the Lutherans. And that's where the uh, 
the Protestants and all those that left Europe because England and the Catholic England and the Catholic Europe, Spain, they really were doing Inquisition stuff and it was horrible for Take two, take two. Take two, take two. Hopefully that saved part two. Yes, part two. Uh, I, the server went down when I was talking about the Freemasons. Talking about the past politics. And uh, welcome back. Uh, my server went down somehow, it was disrupted. Somebody, some hacker, or some government official doesn't want to hear about the Freemasons, the origins of the government, the Constitution, the authors of the Declaration of Independence, and like Thomas Jefferson, he was a Freemason and he um, put savages on the indigenous people. He does not know that the mound builders and the, the indigenous people were more advanced than him and and were very peaceful people like Montezuma was very a peaceful man but these Europeans all they wanted was gold steel and slave labor to make their businesses their tobacco and their gold profits and so these uh, Freemasons that were European Freemasons that Thomas Edison recruited Thomas Spain Benjamin Franklin uh, recruited Thomas Paine, and then Thomas Paine came to the US, uh, 13 colonies and wrote Common Sense. And so a lot of these enlightened men, uh, after 100 years in the Americas, from the early pilgrims, the early uh, Mayflower people in the 1619 uh, time frame, or 16, early 1600s, the North, the Turtle Island colonies, which are the pilgrims, but later in the 1700s, 1750s, 60s, Thomas Jefferson, John, uh, Adams, uh, Benjamin Franklin, the founding fathers of the authors of the Declaration of Independence and then the Constitution, uh, George Washington, they were all Freemasons or influenced by Freemasons. And that's today, our knowledge today, 2023, you know, what we can see on YouTube. If, if there were no online technologies, we would have never understood or I would have never as a professor, as a researcher, as Professor Benjamin Washington, I would have never understood the past, the establishment of this government in the United States. Because my ancestors, I being the descendants of the Utu Aztecans, Mexico and Philippines, uh, one of the kingdoms, the Mexican Empire, which was formerly Tenochtitlan or the Olmecs and the Toltecs, the Austronesians that we suffered, we were enslaved, they used our labors, you know, the blacks of the Pacifics and the, uh, the, Sp the Spanish galleons via Manila galleon, there's this histories of that, and it was way before this, the 13 colonies slavery, or at least the South, which uh, had business for bringing slaves from West Africa, 
that's the uh, African slave ships but it was all the businessmen of the 13 colonies of the businessmen of the Freemasons and the slave traders and that's you know thanks to the online research information and and technology we we're able to understand a little bit more about the politics of the United States of America and those Freemasons those men did not evolve to allow women to become uh, leaders of this United States of America but there are two candidates for 2024 Nikki Haley, one Republican, and all men, all black and white, red, white, and black, or Indian, you know, for Nikki Haley, she's the only woman candidate, maybe Liz Cheney, but she's not on the list, I, I don't see her on the list, but maybe she, she made an, a proposal, but I don't know, maybe her family didn't want to get involved no more, but Liz Cheney spoke out right. Pence definitely is on that Republican Party. I want to be a president. Okay, so the next one on the Democratic Party is uh, Williamson. Marianne Williamson. She is down out, straight out right about this corporate America that's been running the government. It's the corporations that's been running the United States. These, again, are businessmen. We have to fix that. It should be the, we the people. We the people of the United States, according to the constitutional written by these Freemasons way back. Because they wrote that because they, they left and didn't like the European dominance of the Catholic Church, the descendants of the human uh, Roman Empire, that removed books from the, Holy, the original Holy Bible modified the 1611 Bible and they made in 18 in the early 1800s 1811 I believe they modified the Bible and, and then by 1850s you get atheistic mindsets like Darwin and always programmed the mindsets of people of color as inferior so white supremacy really was a US well it became it came from 19, I mean, it came from the Roman Empire. The Roman Empire, this is their way of, of being uh, Christians. And these are the 66 books, the Nicene Creed of how it's supposed to be. Yes, they, they pay, defeated all the believers of the Nephilims, which are descendants of the fallen angels. You know, the, the gods, they call them the pagan gods. Hercules, Zeus, Apollo, Hermes. But today, USA kind of rewrote a better constitution that would allow that. You can be a Star Trek. You can be a Disney character. You can be a Harry Potter. You can be anything you want as long as you don't harm others. Your liberty to be what you want to be. That is our freedom. You know our liberty to practice what we, we we believe and and we don't want a Hitler we don't want a Nazi in the United States right so white supremacy is Nazi these are stronger European descendants of the Roman Empire Today, you know, I, Professor Benjamin Washington, had to, uh, this is part two of this Friday Reds. We got disrupted momentarily because somebody's monitoring my, my, my Facebook Live and my, so I had to do a part two because, I don't know. People are insecure or whatever, are afraid that we the people are making it we the people, according to the Constitution, Constitution of the United States. So I encourage everyone to read ConstitutionUS.com.
All right, so let's, me as Professor Benjamin Washington, I did, I did, I explained the importance of the Bible as a human history from creation to uh, the table of nations, according to Genesis 10, 25, then the Tower of Babel, the vision of language, and then the, uh, the restoration of, of language, being able to speak according to the tongues of Tongues as of fire, according to uh, the book of Acts, chapter 2, verses 1 through 11, um, the Acts of the Apostles. And then, um, yeah, so Freemasons, the, the, the danger of Freemasons is the occult Freemasons. There's the occult Freemasons, and there's the Freemasons that do good deeds, like George Washington was based on good deeds. When a man does good deeds, people will recognize his good deeds. Freemason, good deeds. But there are Freemasons that are occultists. And and then the satanic groups that are occult. They're for the occult. And so the, the, the people that modified the Bible, only 66 books in the Catholic Church, it's, not, it's enough according to Constantine and the practitioners of today's Vatican but it's not the full scope the full story of the human story and the Ethiopic book and the uh, the Dead Sea Scrolls that were found in 1947 confirms uh, all the 66 books plus more right so the book of Jubilee the book of Enoch those are in those hidden scrolls were found, so they're, they're finding more information. And then, of course, Ethiopia, they never destroyed, the Roman Empire never wiped out those books, and they never wiped out the Ethiopian, uh, the country and the Ethiopians, which are Austronesians. You know, Australia, Papua New Guinea, that's still Ethiopia. These are people of dark skin, right? Black kinky haired, right, the Philippines, Ethiopia, I mean, Austronesia, Australia, New Zealand, Papua New Guinea, they were the Ham, descendants of Ham, but in the Philippines, that is part of the descendants of Japheth, I mean, uh, Shem, Shem, Shemites, S-H-E-M, all right, you have to look at the table of nations and follow the, the three the book of Jubilee, uh, you know, and the book of Noah, there, there, are, there are Noah's description of earth, because, again, he had a big boat, he, he, they could travel anywhere, they hand down the technology of boats, don't tell me they can't, you know, like the Pacific Ocean, oh, it's too far, this land is too far from the mainland of Peru, but the historians of the Polynesians, they've been going back and forth in Peru for centuries, way before the white man, way before, and they followed, they looked at the stars, designations of their cities, like Lima, Peru, Lima, Esinco. All right, so politics today, both help the women empower their 19th Amendment. I mean, I love all the male candidates that are coming up. It's great, you know, Tim Scott, you know, there, there are two black Republicans are running, and one India, Indian, Bombay, it's again people of color, three men, and then, and then on the uh, Democratic side, we got a Kennedy running, so that's great, but it is time for women, you either vote for Marianne Williamson for the Democratic Party, or vote for Nikki Haley. And whoever wins between the two women, that's what I'm going to say should be the U.S. president for 2024. But right now we'll see what happens as I, Professor Benjamin Washington, will do more research and uh, inform you all every Friday Reds that we can uh, better America and we should have the 20. Eighth Amendment, and what should it be? That the 
Star Spangled Banner is updated to Star Spangled Preamble because it's essential to make it to the souls of the U.S. citizens to be able to enter the Garden of Eden, right? So to get in the Garden of Eden, your soul has to be clean, uh, sin-free, your spirit has to be nothing with Cain, nothing involved with Cain because Abel, the spirit of Abel is there to detect his own DNA with, with Cain's DNA, his brother. Because what happened at the earlier phase, at the gate of East Gate, East of Eden, Cain killed his brother Abel. So his spirit is right there at the, the East Gate area where Adam and Eve lived, East of Eden. All right. And so the, the Filipino ancient character Bai Bayin, Ba, the Ba, that is the symbol of the Garden of Eden. It's in a enclosed because of the flood. It's underneath of fear or underneath the of fear Shiva Tarshish Havila. That's underneath because the flood waters have covered it up. But it's in an enclosed sphere like. And there's only one entrance and one exit, and the symbol Ba of the ancient writing systems of the Philippines. That's the character. It's a circle within a circle, which is the representing the entrance of the entrance and exit on the East Gate. All right. So uh, we're going to close because we entered in our Philo, first in prayer. We said our Star Spangled Preamble. We can say it or, you know, as a monologue or a, a chanted. And that's our login and access password to the, well, it's our login and initial password and our soul and spirit has to meet the able the goodness of able and 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 through christ the way of yahushua jesus the ways the way he walked the way he talked the way he interacted right is is again buddha siddhartha the vedics those were prior to him but they did not heal nor resurrect uh, Buddha never resurrected right but they passed the tradition of good character of good you know Gandhi Gandhi had a good character you know nonviolent uh, nonviolent uh, resistance nonviolence and that's how dr. Martin Luther King a Bible reader also practiced nonviolence during the civil rights. And then of course, the two indigenous Utu Aztecans, a Texan from Texas named Cesar Chavez was invited by a Filipino in the Lena, California named Cesar uh, Larry at Leon, right? So Alta California, Philippines, Mexico, it was well one since 1520s to all right so i posted the uh, on my facebook also uh chief lapu lapu and chief datu lapu lapu and, and montezuma chief emperor Montezuma the second montezuma the second and they at the same time montezuma died first and then lapu lapu all right we're 9.15. I think we just talked about that. So we're going to close the circle. We're going to exit out of the virtual Garden of Eden. And so we do the Philo. We did, the last thing that we did was the Star Spangled Preamble. We're going to chant that. 
Again, constitutionus.com. Constitutionus.com. Read up on your amendment rights. And if you still feel like LGBTQT or you're still being discriminated, you still feel as a U.S. citizen, you know, the American Disability Act, that should be like part of the 28th Amendment to make sure there is no more homeless, there is no more, um, you know, mental health, drug addicts, there's no more, it can be cleansed by, by the 28th Amendment. There should be a government law that eradicates all that poverty, uh, mental health, um, homelessness, that should all be eradicated. It should be the 28th Amendment. What do you think? So, ConstitutionUS.com. Again, one word, ConstitutionUS.com. Check out your 27 amendments. The First Amendment was very important, and I explained the Freemasons at the beginning and why they were crypto other non-Christians that had to to practice what they practiced because in Europe where they came from they were persecuted by the Roman Catholic Inquisition very very terrible violation of of, of the, the 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 ways of Jesus according to John 13 verse 33 to 35 and 1 John 4 verse 20 and 21 or commandment number one and commandment number two. How can you claim to love God? You can't love your brother, which is love thy neighbor as yourself, right? And Buddhist commandment number one is love God with all your heart and soul. And and John 13 is Jesus said, love one another as I have loved you. So he was, you know, he was, he didn't have a home. He walked around. He didn't have any material things. He just had believers. That's all they want you. That's all he wants to love one another as believers. All right. I gotta close. We're gonna close the circle. We're gonna exit out of the Garden of Eden virtual, and we're gonna perform the Star Spangled Preamble. And it goes, we the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense. Promote the general welfare, secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity, to ordain and establish this constitution for the United States of America. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early rise what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming? Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fires or the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming? And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the home of the brave. Okay, so we just are now exited out of the Garden of Eden, the, the virtual Garden of Eden. Again, that's how you, when you, when you die after life, your soul will try to locate the Garden of Eden, the entrance. And when you're there at the east gate of the garden, the spirit of Abel, the brother of Cain, 
as in Cain of Abel, he will be there to detect your spiritual DNA if you have any Cain DNA in you or, or thing. He will not let you in if you have the Cain DNA. Because why would you kill your brother? You know, if you had that, if you did that, you hurt your brother. And that's the law of Jesus. 1 John 4, verse 20 and 21. How can you claim to love God and want to go to the Garden of Eden? You can't even love your own brother, right? And in the book of Enoch, that's described. Unfortunately, the Catholic Church only had 66 books, which to me is what caused the Inquisition and which is wrong and causes wars like Russia and Ukraine and those things. You're not supposed to kill your brother. You're not supposed to, you know, we, we have interplanetary battles to, to do. We, we need to prove to God that we're able to love one another and be able to you know, in our in our manly man carnal state, non spiritual, we need to work together and love one another so that we can go to the Mars or go to the moon and colonize it. We've not. You know, every time we, we are in that phase there's this just derailments. See this Ukraine war and the uh, Russian war? It's a derailment. To pro, you know, instead of Russia and the U.S., you know, have joint, which is like the space station, International Space Station, there is war, and it delays the progress, right? You're not, uh, again, the cane blood is still, I think it's heavy with the Russians, the cane blood, Russians and the Chinese. That's the communists, because they're atheistic, they don't read scripture, they don't practice the scripture, they're communists. But in the United States, at least the First Amendment allowed um, people of faith, believers to survive, not persecuted and be forced to a only 66 book uh, Roman descendants of the Roman Empire. But it's improving, uh, again, online, you can't lie no more. You'll be detected. They know, people online will know if you're telling the truth or not, or your lies might catch up to you later on. Shoot. All right, so I have closed the circle. It's I opened it with the Lord's Prayer, Abracadabra, you know, it's a prayer. And then the monologue of the or sang the chanted the star spangled preamble which inclusively includes the constitution u.s constitution preamble with the people and the lyrics of the star spangled banner and the chanting tune of both into one and that's a, a, a way for the united states citizens when they die their spirit their ghost can go in and access the Garden of Eden. That's what you gotta go through first. Because the Book of Enoch, Ethiopian Bible, says that the holiest, holiest place is is the Garden of Eden. That's where God is at first on earth. Not in Jerusalem, not in you know that's Revela that's where Re Revelation twenty one is. In the Garden of Eden, the land of creation. I'm just, uh, again, I'm just a character created by Stanley. I, I better finish my, I've already finished my character. Um, uh, I'm gonna close it. up to watch part one and part two rewind
This is the end of the show. Our Father, who art in heaven, holy is thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive those who pass against us. Lead not into temptation Deliver us, deliver us from evil. Deliver us from our evil. And save the United States, God bless America, and protect the troops. But importantly, yourself. Know the entrance password, the login to the Garden of Eden. And of course, know how to exit out. Yeah, I just finished my show. Bob Honest and Rick Lacrosse. You, you need to uh, rewind. Uh, for some reason, when I was talking about the Freemason, somebody disrupted my... Uh, somebody disrupted my, uh, what do you call it? Wi-Fi server to interrupt my my discussion but we just finished the character Professor Benjamin Washington and he's a political scientist research scientist he talks about the past the present and future that's pretty much our Friday Red show we do that we talk about the past the present and future and you're at the end of it and you know thank you for uh I use his glasses because every time I wear the uh, thick, clear glass, <laughs> it always gets cracked or damaged. I don't know why that happens, but it's a nerdy glass. And Professor Benjamin Washington is a nerdy type character. And I created this character, Professor Benjamin Washington, way back. So you can go to my YouTube channel and look at the playlist of the past Friday Reds and, and um, watch what I'm talking about. I'm pushing for helping the 19th Amendment empower women of the United States, especially white women that's been cheated and abused by white women and I mean white men and black men. I mean they just love them and leave them they're single moms I'm saying not all white men are, are bad I'm just saying that businessmen have basically corporate America has really cheated we the people because of these layoffs these unstable jobs jobs they give them they hire them but then they lay them off it should be hire them for life until they retire that bring it back to the old ways of the United States employers right you hire a person you give them all their benefits the family leave and 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 then get back to work when they can everybody women men you know every US citizen should have a universal income to be a uh, a constructive voter to research who the best candidates are and find out what corporations manipulate politicians you know because when you run for politics you need a lot of money and women don't have a lot of money because most of the men have most of the men are oh my God. unless you're a divorced woman like the wife of Jeff 
Bezos, the wife of Bill Gates, they can run for president. They're women. They don't need, but all I'm saying is 2023 and beyond, 2024, vote. There are two women candidates, Nikki Haley for the Republicans, and uh, what's her name? Marion Williamson for the uh, Democrats. So, I, Stanley Jack Kowalski, San, San Slaus, we, uh, we create characters on social media. And yeah, I, I used to go out karaoke a lot on Fridays, but at this time, my elderly mom, I'm, I'm the, uh, one of the sons, her sons that I have to, as a responsible family member, I have to accompany my elderly mom. And I, I can't go out because my mom, my elderly mom needs attention when she needs it. And I uh, usually uh, wish there was a U.S. government that helps elderly moms. But, you know, I feel free because I have freedom of speech, my First Amendment in this uh, our social media technology. And people that watch my my characters enjoy my characters. I'm wearing the stash because I'm working on a music video. Uh, I, I song titled "Lucky Woman," but all the great guys, you know, Hollywood actors and past uh, like Emiliano Zapata, you know, the mustache. He was a revol revolutionary hero with Pancho Villa. But they killed him. Mexicans killed a Mexican. But he was a different type of Mexican. He was indigenous. He was for indigenous people. He was fighting for his land. You know, he's like a Geronimo. You know, a lot of the indigenous people that try to fight for their land. But it's 2023. I believe 1976 was the true July 4th. But... Let July 4th be what it is, and July 5th, uh, again, I'm telling everyone to celebrate my friend Dan Valeran's birthday. I call him Uncle Dan. July 4th is Uncle Sam's, but July 5th is Uncle Dan, Dan Valeran. He's a guitar player, songwriter like myself, and I'm a storyteller, and I, I want to invite him someday to be in this Facebook Live, Instagram Live, social media live. But again, when I was talking about Freemason and the origin of the Founding Fathers, what they were, were they Catholic Christians? Were they crypto Jews, crypto Moors? Were they, you know, they were Freemasons. And Freemasons, they're still around. Like the Templars are still around. The, the Catholic has Templars, the Catholic Knights. So, these old medieval stuff, the Inquisition stuff, people are still there. They observe and report. But, you know, the liberty of religion, the freedom of religion, allows you to practice whatever you want. You know, you can practice Satanism or whatever, but when you sacrifice a human being and get busted, you will go to jail. That's the law of the land. Thou shalt that you shouldn't kill. Right? You can... You should always virtualize it, you know, never, never make it a true thing. But the liberty of religion, the Freemasons made that what it is so that it's not just the Catholic Inquisition in the United States. Imagine if the Catholic Inquisition was enforced in the United States. Oh, man, that would be bad news because there are a lot of great mafia assassins. Catholic Mafia assassins that could, but that's not their practice. They are virtual, uh, holy spiritual. All right. All I can say is, you know, the white man already showed its power in those establishing United States and, and uh, Australia. They've already showed its, you know, abilities to be evil 
right? The first, the first governor of California, he, he showed his evil. He genocide all indigenous people in California, Mexican, you know, people of color. So that's how powerful the white man, even today, the white man still, the, the, the Freemasons are still powerful. But I, I plead for a woman, uh, a female president, because to be fair, the 19th Amendment was a long time ago, in the early 1900s. Give them a chance to be a president. The black man was given a chance, Obama, it's a perfect example, and hopefully there'll be more black presidents. But we know what the white man has done and can do and can still do, right? So I have high respects for an evil white man. That's my respect. They can decimate and destroy. I mean, look at Russia and Ukraine. They're white people killing each other. That, that goes to show that that's the nature of the fascist, communist people. I mean, uh, monarchy or fascist type government like communism is it's people run by one stalin type all right it's you know we shake our heads we indigenous people but why does millions of indigenous indians have to die we were very peaceful we were share and welcome you know, Montezuma, he was welcoming. He welcomed Cortez. He loved, you know, he loved the European people to come in peace. But what did they do? They redestroyed Tenochtitlan and built Catholic churches and built Mexico City on top of. But they couldn't hide it because all those pyramids, they're still there. They try to hide all those pyramids ancient pyramids and they try to say oh it's only 300 years ago I mean 300 AD but Yucatan Yucatan look up Genesis 1025 he is the son of Eber Yucatan the brother of Pele the Hawaiians call Pele a god all right all I can say is 2023 please help the women LGBTQT be open and change the greedy white man the the white man that's you know like now it's corporate white man corporate businessman that outsourced all the jobs in Europe and Asia and Biden is correcting it because he's bringing back all the semiconductor companies in the USA how could you allow Silicon Valley to go to Taiwan and other places it should have remained in the Silicon Valley that's what Silicon Valley but the manufacturing is you know back supposedly in the United States and Marianne Wilson Williamson says, says yeah corporate America is only one percent rich and they get all the wealth the we the people, the labor, we become slave labor, worker bees, nine to five. And as the property tax and as the values of houses, you can't afford it. Your kids' kids can't afford it. The middle class is gone, it needs to come back. That's why you need to bring all those jobs because the middle class, that's how they got they got rich or got back to becoming getting class. Allow all those immigrants or uh, in the border, women and children, let them in. The men figure them out if they're military or not. If they're military men or pretending to be family men, you gotta, you know, get them all detected, figure them out. And all I know is the world sees the Hollywood and New York, the Disney movies, the world sees that and 
they love America that entices them to come here that is it they watch DVDs or, or movie uh, pirated movies and stuff in their market and they go oh we want to go there it's a better life than here but no it's not we know the, the, the tents the homeless we know what's going on locally especially here in San Luis County I can only say to the local community here in San Luis County let's figure a way make it the 20th amendment to to eradicate abolish uh, homelessness poverty uh, all drugs addicts if they want to be drug addicts let them be and let's uh, ship them to Mars you know let's figure a way to have a spaceship to the moon and the Mars all these drug addicts free drugs in Mars you know? so they all get trained by uh, these uh, Elon Musk uh, Mars team you know they can go to this program one year inside this this dome they can smoke all the weed take all the drugs they want for the whole year in that dome see if they can survive for the mouse uh, Mars adventure that's it the homeless we put them all in these domes and bring them to Mars to, you know we put them in these uh, that's my suggestion Modesto has have like a uh, enclosed community of drug addict homeless provide you know a uh, like a football field residence type where they are you know it's like a an environment of Mars or moon and just put them all in there and if they survive that means they're a able to live in in uh, Mars or moon, the moon they would be the first colonizer because they're homeless anyways they, they just are distraction there to come here I mean in the cities you know they, uh, they're useless they're just laying down on the sidewalk or on the floor in front of somebody's business so Amendment 28, I mean, I propose somebody write constitutional amendment number eight to eradicate poverty, eradicate homelessness, eradicate uh, drug users, a place for them, you know, all the standard domestic life that these problems needs to be put in a, uh, a, a a dome a pretend new world and see if they can survive in that pretend new world the size of a football field or something and that's all they can be in they can go in there that's it if in, if if they're in the city doing that they are taken and put in that potential Mars immigrant that's just my idea I mean I'm not making it this is sand sand law I'm just trying to make a music video you know I'm working on a lucky woman but my time is limited and my elderly mom is my priority right now so all right folks I talked enough thank you for watching professor Benjamin Washington's uh, political talk vote for women it's it'll save Americans and uh, become uh, or be able to access the uh, Garden of Eden that's located in the Bible called Christ or uh, Ophir, Sheba, and Havilah. All right, I gotta go.